Hello and welcome to your daily love message from your person. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in the beautiful love secrets on deck today to bring in a message. This is a gorgeous step by our soul sister Tammy from Bloom and Arrow. So what does your person want you to know? What's on their mind? What secrets are they unlocking within their heart and soul to communicate and be with you? So what do they want you to know today? What do they want you to know? So those are the most important cards coming out there. And then we've got clarifiers jumping out of the deck here. Wow, okay. So I'm going to start with those cards and then bring these in. I've also got a card on the floor. So what's the energy coming in today then? What's on your person's mind? So your person is saying to you, all the love songs speak to me about you. Wow, all the love songs. So when they hear a love song, it reminds them of you. And it speaks to them about you. So it's reminding them in that song that you belong together, that you are the one, that you're the one they love, you're the one they're in love with and they told you that yesterday very deeply, that you're the one. So they are hearing love songs and they are speaking to their heart and soul. And they are also communicating to you through music too. So you may also be hearing the same song that they are hearing. Because you are mirrors of each other. So if you're if you're hearing lots of love songs and you're connecting with them through those songs, that's also a sign that you are connecting with each other's energy today in that way. But they want you to know that when they hear a song, a song about love, it speaks to their heart about you. And it's not just a love song. You may think of a ballad or something very romantic. It could be a rock song. It could be anything that touches their heart and soul about love because it's connecting them with you. So it doesn't need to be a specific type of melody or a specific type of song. It's just anything that hits them in their heart. And I know my family and friends would be impressed with you. So they've spent a lot of time thinking about introducing you to their family showing you off in their world, telling their friends about you. And it came through yesterday very powerfully as well that they've been talking to their friends, their family, their relatives or someone close to them about you or they've been talking about the connection in some way. So they are really preparing now to step this up, to bring this love out into the open, to suggest a meet-up. So that they can come to you and say, yes, of course, I want you to get to know my family and friends. I want to bring you into my life. Because they know that their family and friends would be impressed by you because they are impressed by you. And that means they are proud of you. They want to show you off to others. They want to introduce you as their one. They want their friends and family to get to know you because they want to get to know you. And it doesn't matter if you've already met them. And you've already spoke to them or maybe you've spent time with them. They want you to meet them again in a fresh way. Because they know that they would be impressed with you because of the work you've been doing on you. Because of who you are. And this could also be about something you've been doing in your life. Maybe you've hit a certain target or a goal or a dream. Or, you know, they are proud of you. They're impressed with what you're doing with your life. They are proud of you. They want to tell people about what you're doing. And that could be connected with career, or it could be something you've overcome, something you've been dealing with. Maybe you've been through an illness and you've got better and you've overcome a challenge and you've, you know, you've dealt with it. And they are so proud of you for that. They could even be thinking about a certain thing that would inspire a certain family member or friend through you. And that could be, again, what you've been through or what you're doing. They want you to get to know their circle. And I can see us taking road trips and going on epic holidays. So they're actually planning the future in their mind here. They can see a future with you. They know that their future involves you. And they're saying, I want to go on a trip with you. I want to go on an epic holiday. I want to go somewhere. Maybe we could go around the world or a cruise or we could go to a amazing faraway place I can see us doing that and also road trips are about just jumping in the car or getting on the train or going for a walk and ending up somewhere together they can see you doing that they've dreamt about that they've fantasized about that and that may even be with friends and family 
I'd love for our friends and family to come out with us somewhere or go on epic holidays with us to see us in love and loving each other. Because you've opened my eyes to things I was blind to before I knew you. And this could be maybe they didn't want to travel until now or maybe they'd never travelled until you. You've made them see things and experience things in a whole new way. You've opened my eyes. Thank you for that. They're grateful for you for that. You've opened my eyes to things I never knew before. You've opened my eyes to things I couldn't even see before. I now see things differently. And that's kind of like when you go outside and you notice a flower blooming or you notice signs or synchronicities or you hear songs in a new way because they speak differently because now they are open to the power of love. So they are experiencing their life differently because of you. And they've also saved pictures of you to look at when they need to see your face or when they need to feel light energy or they need to feel comforted or they need to feel better or safe or secure. They look at you and they've saved pictures of you. Now, you may have sent them a picture and they've got that picture stored on their phone or, you know, stored on their computer or it's hidden away somewhere. They may actually have a photo of you that they've printed out. And they've hidden somewhere, especially if they're in a karmic relationship and they have to hide those things. They're making sure they're somewhere safe. They also save pictures of you in their mind. So they have a filing cabinet in their head that's all about you. So they actually go and access that picture of you or maybe you had an experience together that they've pictured in their mind. And they access that when they need to see you or feel you or connect with you. But they may also go onto your social media and they may screenshot pictures of you off your profile or they may save a picture because they want to connect with you in that way. They want to see your face. They need to see your face, not only because they are attracted to you and they desire you, but because they want to feel close to you. They want to look into your eyes because the eyes are the windows of the soul. And also, I feel that this can also be in a passion way. They may be looking at pictures of you when they're feeling passion when they need to feel that energy as well and, you know, maybe be a bit naughty. That's what they're also connecting with. And they're also smiling a lot more because they're thinking about you a lot more. Everyone's noticed I can't stop smiling lately. Now, that doesn't mean they're happy. It just means they're thinking about you a lot more and they're allowing themselves to connect with you a lot more and it's making them feel happier because your happiness increases their happiness. Your smile makes them smile. So remember, if you want to feel better and you want to connect better, focus on self-love, focus on filling up your own cup because when you're working on feeling good and excited, they will feel that too. And everyone's noticed that they can't stop smiling. So I definitely feel that this is a powerful energy. And what I'm also connecting in this message is as well with for those of you who may be tuning in wondering what your crush is thinking or, you know, if your person really does love and want you or if they are thinking about you too, because they definitely are and everyone's noticing it too. We've also got the energy of I will always come back to you, I can't help it. So remember that they'll always come back to you. It's never over between you. In fact, it's just beginning. doesn't matter how long you've been on this journey for, it's just beginning. They will always come back. Why? Because they are magnetically drawn to you. They can't help it. They come to you like a moth drawn to the flame. So again, that's your message to shine your beautiful light bright because that draws them in. It draws them close. It warms them. So let this be your sign today if you're thinking, will they return? Will they reach out? Will we be together Will it happen? Yes, it will, because they'll always come back. Maybe you're thinking, is he going to unblock me? Or, you know, is he going to come forward by himself without me reaching out? Yes, they will, because they'll always come back to you when you give them the chance to, because they can't help it. Remember, sometimes you just need to give them the chance by detaching your energy and letting them reach out to you. And they are in awe of the way you shine. So again, there's that message, when you shine... They follow. When you glow, they grow. When you shine that light, they are attracted to you like a moth attracted to a flame. 
so shine and they're in awe of the way you shine, the way you are and they're so impressed by you. And they want to show you off in their world and say, wow, this is my partner. This is my lover. This is my beautiful one. This is my baby. This is my person because they are proud of the way you shine, the way you are, the way you get up and go, the way you do you, the way you don't get knocked down. You keep getting back up if you get knocked down. The way you work, the things you're doing in your life, they're proud of you. And they're in awe of you, especially the way you carry on. You don't sit around crying and moping. You may do that for a while, but you get back up and carry on. And you know the angels give you the strength to do that. Your strength comes from within you and above you. And they are in awe of that and they're in awe of you. You impress me with your light. You impress me with your techniques. You impress me with the person that you are. And I can't wait for you to meet my friends and family so they can be impressed by you too. So they'll be impressed by me and my choices and my decisions. So they are in awe of you in the way you shine. So keep shining bright. Even if you're afraid that they're not going to come back to you, your light will guide them to you. They can't help it. They'll always come back. They're smiling because they want to come back and they've been looking at you, checking you out on social media, looking at your pictures, reminiscing about the past, thinking about you. Every song they hear is speaking to them about you. They want their family and friends to meet you. And if you're thinking, what will they think of me? They will be impressed by you because you've opened their eyes to things they were blind to before. And they can see you taking trips together and going on holidays together by yourselves and with friends and family. So they are really putting you into their future today in their mind. And that's what you need to know. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.